one. We're going to let you know what's cooking. Our next guest is the co-founder of the Bronx Night Market, and he's here with us to speak about how his organization has continued to thrive during the, the global pandemic and to highlight the support services that they are providing to parents, teachers, and students. So welcome to the show, Marco Shalma. Welcome, Marco. Thank you. Thank you for having me over here. I appreciate that. How you doing? Good. What's cooking? <laughs> you know, um, we already, like, before we know that, we're already at the end of the year, and it's been a long, long season for us starting in April. You know, we, uh, yeah. Bronx Time Market and, and Fordham Free have been the first, like, outdoor events to, to be open in, in, in New York City this season. And every week we've been out there in Fordham Plaza grinding, trying to do the best we can to kind of give some sort of, like, you know, just good environment, entertainment to our yeah. residents and, and beyond. So, you know, we, 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 we're excited for the last uh, few weeks left in the season. And, you know, it's kind of like when the time where we're starting to, you know, do a post-mortem of what we've done well and what we can improve for, for next year. So it's good. It's good to be us right now. Was it a good summer? Did you really thrive during the summer? It was a great summer. You know, I mean, mind you, like there was, besides the fact that, you know, the Bronx Night Market has already established itself in, in the Bronx and Fordham Plaza, we started a new brand called Fordham Flea on the last Whoa. Sunday of the month, which is yeah. focused around more about the arts and crafts, merchandise, gifts, kind of, you know, like a flea market. So, you know, we were able to see that goes from like zero to 100, you know, and, and have those two amazing brands. But besides that, you know, we just, it was, it's been a summer when New York had so much to do outdoors. And we just kind of, yeah. we, we just happy to be part of that, you know, that, that entire relief force after like a year of being locked up, you know, locked in. Yeah. It was good to get out and the food was good. Talk about some of the foods that we had. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think like you, I, we still need to have you over to try some food. As long as you remember to bring stretchy pants because <laughs> there's good food out there, Dr. Bob. <laughs> I'll bring a, a, a belt with different notches on it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, you, you, you know, like the, the best thing that we do around over there is just, uh, you know, being able to highlight and support local businesses. So, yeah. you know, we proud ourselves, especially in the Bronx Night Market, we proud ourselves to be, you know, the, like, like a growing pad for over 12 businesses that started off with us. You know, I'm talking about George Foreman Grill and, and yeah. Hopes, you know, and, and now some of them have, you know, brick and mortars, multiple. We talk about Next Stop Vegan. We're talking about City Tamales. We're talking about uh, Empanology. You know, those are just some of the businesses that started with us with like, you know, just nothing but a good, you know, just like a hopes and, and, and wishes and now are thriving. And, you know, the Bronx Time Market has been an uh, incubator for those kind of businesses. And yeah. now we're doing the same thing for the merchant vendors, the micro businesses in Ford and Fleet, you know, Fun fact that not a lot of people know that like, there was an increase of 500% in application for this season by small merchants. You know, a lot of people stayed home and, yeah. uh, and started businesses, Shopify, and started businesses on Etsy and crafts, you know. So they needed a place to go. And that's why we went with Fall and Flea to, to give like that space for them, you know, in the kind of standard that we are known for in the city. Yeah, that's great. And, um, Wait a minute, how many more weeks do you have left over there? So we have five, we have the entire October, every Saturday in October yeah. uh, for, for, for Bronx Night Market. And yeah. we have uh, the last Ford of Fleet will be on Halloween, 1031. That's the wow. Sunday. And yeah. after that, we have one massive, massive, massive event, which is the Harvest Festival in November 13th. And That's that will the be that's the grand finale. That is the grand, grand finale. Like, we're talking about all hours. We're talking about, you know, mobile stage, uh, performances all day, tons of giveaways, uh, mayhaze, activation for the kid, pumpkin carving station. You know, that's going to be, like, the grand finale for the season, you know, for the outdoor season. And, you know, we, we, we will have some surprises for indoor during the winter because we know people will still want to go out. Yeah, because it was so. We just well, we just got into autumn. Uh, let me see, September twentieth. Yeah, and it goes all the way through to December twentieth. Yeah, it starts. And so, even though like you know the temperature has dropped a little bit in the last couple of days, you can see that like you know fall is going to be 
you know, hopefully stretching a little bit further. Like, you know, so, you know, with, with the way that with this, the summer has been brutal, yeah. you know, like, let's be honest, weather-wise, summer has been brutal. It's not going to oh, be, yeah. it hasn't been the summer that we used to, you know. So we hope in the fall winter will be some sort of a compensation. Like we'll, we'll, be, we'll still be able to be outside and enjoy each other's company. So that big event that's going to happen, that's the upcoming event that everybody's talking about. This, no, that's, that one is just, you just got like a tip, like, you know, you, you just got it like, you know, first, 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 first to kind of know about that Harvest Festival. The big yeah. one that everybody's talking about is the Halloween weekend. And the Halloween weekend, we have the, oh. the Saturday, uh, 1030, October 30th, is we have yeah. a big uh, Bronx Night Market Halloween party. And the next day, we have the big grand finale for the Fallen Flea which is uh, also going to be themed like Halloween and, but more focused on the merch and arts and craft and like little knickknacks and stuff. Are you going to be doing anything different? Oh yeah. First of all, I'm going to be dressed up, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but yeah, we, we are really going to go all out as far as that. We brought some sponsorship as far as like, you know, uh, 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 angry orchard and, and, you know, with different kind of organization in the city. And it's yeah. gonna be like, you know, we, we, we known for our Halloween parties, you know, we had like three of them that were like, you know, significantly crazier, you know, with, yeah. but it's, it's going to be, you know, as, as this year has been, it's going <laughs> to be focused on the small businesses, the micro businesses, you know, supporting everything local and and really collaborating with different organizations, including Fordham University, Lehman College, Bronx Community College, to really kind of create something that is like community based and community oriented. Yeah, just like you have the pumpkin carving station for Halloween, you can have a mask decorating station or something. Ah, just a thought, you know. No, all the things that you're going to be doing out there, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be great. I think it's a great idea. I think I think we can do like you know that uh, mass decorating. I, I, mean, I know a lot of people would want to participate in that. We can also do a contest. You know, we call, we're going to call it the Bob Lee, the Doctor Bob Lee <laughs> mass, mass contest, mass decorating contest. So yeah, paint it back, man. Yeah, paint it back. Use your three W's. Wear that mask. Watch your distance and wash your hands. That's it. <laughs> a hand washing station. Oh, we, we definitely have those, you know, I mean, this is one of the things that, you know, changed this year, you know, we've learned. So, so we, we like I mentioned earlier, we were the first one to open in New York City. Bronx yeah. Island was the first one to open in New York City. We opened like April 2nd, I think we opened. And we had to go through 80 pages of regulation with the city in order to kind of be able to open, you know, and we went through process of restricting, you know, the, the capacity, you know, testing at the door, making sure that we have like, you know, like all the mandates, extra yeah. hand washing uh, station and whatnot. So we were so prepared and we were so on point, you know, because we wanted to make sure that, you know, all eyes are on us. We can't let that, let it down. And then the city used us as like a, a little bit of a, testing ground to see if that's even possible and then and then the entire city opened up in, in june 15 following yeah. that with the recommendation so you know but it's i think like all in all the, the the changes that were made in order to accommodate the you know the post-pandemic life are actually good ones you know like who doesn't need more hand washing stations in a food festival that's yeah. important you know who doesn't need more porta parties than regular stuff like that you know uh separating or regulating the times we find out that regulating like you know capacity actually helps the vendors sell more and pay more attention to the customers yeah. you know and people exactly. wait less in line so we're looking forward to uh coming down and eating up some of your food and then experiencing the whole thing that's going on where can we go for more information and give us the address to where we're going thanks dr bob i'll hold you to it i'm you know we were looking to see you uh so this october every saturday in october we'll be at the fordham plaza one fordham plaza right over there on fordham road uh from 4 p.m to 10 p.m and the last Sunday of the month, that will be like October 31st, Halloween, we have uh, we have Fordham Flea. It's the largest flea market in Uptown in the Bronx, and it's from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. And follow us on at Bronx Night Market and at Fordham Flea to get more information and to learn about the giveaways, raffle prizes, musical performances, and more. Uh, you know, I, I hope everybody will come and, and send us off for the winter, like, you know, in a, in a proper manner, you know? There you go. Always a pleasure to talk to you. We're going to come down and eat up all your food and check out all the wonderful experiences. Co-founder, Bronx Night Market, Marco Shama.
Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. Let's play ball. Bobby C, he's up next, the latest in the world of sports on Open 